What's going on YouTube? I'm Alex and this is the review of the Matricom G-Box Q2. So they call this the Q2 just because it has uh, Android 5.1. So it's basically like a newer model uh, of last year's uh, box, which was pretty similar um, with this one. So hopefully this one has uh, some better software optimization. Aside from that, we still have the Amlogic S12. Uh, it's a quad-core processor. It's a really good processor for watching movies and stuff like that. However, this is a pretty old processor um, already. Has 2 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of internal storage. I'm gonna show you what comes in the box with uh, this box and uh, then I'll show you how the box works and uh, how it performs. comes in this box right here it's a very plain box uh, the Matricom uh, logo in quite a few places this is the Q2 revised uh, version inside the box we get the power adapter an HDMI cable and the remote I do suggest using a mouse with this box for a better experience because the remote it's not the best out there aside from that we just have a short manual that shows you how to start up the box where to plug in cables and so on the box is made of plastic entirely. On the top there we have a G that lights up in blue and the uh, power is connected to the box. The bottom of the box is also made of plastic and we have a sticker that says Genuine Matricom uh, product and a Revision Q2 sticker. On the back of the box we have two USB ports, the HDMI port, the internet port, an AV port and an optical out. Right next to that it's the power adapter uh, port. On the right hand side of the box we just have a slot for a memory card so you can extend the storage of the box. Overall this is a good looking box and it would look good sitting pretty much anywhere. What's going on everyone? So I turned on the box so we can see how um, it starts up. First of all we get uh, their logo Matricom. And this is basically an Amlogic S812 with 2 gigs of RAM. Uh, so basically they just put a skin uh, over the hardware and that's how they uh, try to be different from other boxes that use the exact same setup. As soon as the box starts up we get uh, their own launcher and this is uh, what you're looking at uh, right at the moment. I don't find this launcher that uh, useful, I find it kind of uh, difficult uh, to use. I'm gonna start by going to the system uh, settings so you can have an idea how, uh, how it looks. So it looks kind of like this. I'm gonna go to advanced settings and here at advanced settings I just wanna show you how much storage uh, it's available. So total space available about 12 gigs out of the 16 that uh, comes with the box. For the display uh, you can select whatever screen uh, resolution you'd like. I have mine set at uh, 1080p at the moment. For languages, uh, I'm just gonna scroll uh, through whatever languages are available very quickly so you have an idea what's, uh, what's here. So quite a few languages, I'm sure you're gonna find uh, whatever language you may be looking for. We also have an app switcher uh, and basically if you press the home button on the remote uh, while you are in any app uh, this uh, what you're seeing at the bottom of the screen shows up so you can quickly switch uh, between apps. The box comes pre-installed with the Amazon app, uh, we also get this uh, app installer. We get Kodi right here, um, there is this Matricon app store uh, which I tried opening earlier but uh, I'm just gonna open it for you, there is nothing uh, in here or nothing loads. So this is how it looks and that's how it stays no matter how, uh, how much you wait. So that's pointless since you have the regular app store which is right here. Aside from that we have this media center, Miracast, a movie player uh, and a couple of other uh, things that come pre-installed with it like YouTube. I will be playing a couple of games to show you how the box performs uh, for gaming and I will be using this controller uh, while playing games.
currently I'm playing GTA San Andreas at medium uh, settings but I'm sure even higher settings would uh, do just as fine And GTA seems to be going just as good as uh, the previous game. The Antutu score is sitting at about 42,000 and this is normal for this type of processor and RAM. Here at info we can see some more information about um, the box, so Android 5.1.1, the processor, the screen resolution and how much RAM and uh, ROM available. And since we are talking about benchmark tests, on Geekbench 3 it got 1601 for the multi-core score and 554 for the single core score. This box comes with root access from the factory and this is a good thing because you don't have to figure out how to do this. To screencast your phone's um, screen onto the box, you just open the Miracast app right here. Uh, then onto your phone you're gonna search for devices and it already found uh, the box and I'm gonna accept and in a couple of seconds uh, whatever you're gonna be seeing onto your phone you're gonna be seeing onto the TV so it goes uh, very smooth if I go into YouTube app I can basically just play any video I'll just start with this one uh, right here just so you have an idea how uh, how good it goes so it does uh, work very well the speed test speeds uh, on a wired connection uh, it's right here so about 30 and uh, on a wireless network about 20 keep in mind my internet connection it's very slow so that's why you see these uh, low scores the box comes pre-installed with Kodi and uh, you can update this uh, through the Play Store. You simply just press uh, update whenever you get an update and uh, the update will uh, download onto your box. As soon as we uh, start Kodi we get to this uh, screen right here. If we go into system uh, we can go to settings so you have an idea what's uh, here. So. You can look for add-ons, you can install uh, new add-ons, it's uh, very simple, I mean depends what you're gonna be watching, you can just uh, search on forums and stuff like that uh, to install the add-ons that uh, you're most interested in. Here we can install any add-on that's uh, here, so there are quite a few already. Uh, I'm just gonna choose a random one. Uh, so you can have an idea how it uh, goes so let's choose this bravo one install we'll give it a second uh, till it installs and downloads and now if i go back uh, the add-on i just installed uh, should be right here it's gonna do this only the first uh, time so I don't know, i'm just gonna play anything uh, hopefully you'll find something that uh, works and I'm just looking for uh, an add-on that uh, that works unfortunately with Kodi it's a bit difficult to find the streams uh, that uh, are gonna work for example this one is gonna do just fine so as you can see you can watch any TV that uh, you are interested uh, in I mean there are some add-ons that you can watch some live sports and so on but again you're gonna have to look and uh, research for uh, for those add-ons on forums and uh, stuff like that other apps uh, for online uh, movies and tv shows uh, seem to work fine i'm just gonna start a random one uh, here uh, it depends what you want to watch uh, again you can find a whole bunch of stuff online some may be illegal some may not be illegal it really depends uh, 
what uh, what you're looking for and so on so any streaming apps uh, online streaming apps seem to work uh, just fine i have a couple of uh, movies on a memory stick so this one that i'm gonna play right now it's filmed in uh, 4k it's a 15 second video just so you have an idea that uh, 4k actually works on this it's filmed on my uh, note 5 so yeah 4k videos uh, seem to work just fine uh, I have another one that's a 720p right here. I'm just gonna scroll uh, through it just uh, so you can see how uh, how smooth it goes. And after this one, I'm just gonna play a 1080p one uh, just uh, again so you can have an idea how uh, how well it does. So it does go uh, very very smooth uh, at 720p. And uh, this one here, I believe it's at uh, 1080p. So again, I'm just going to scroll uh, through it a bit so you can uh, have a better understanding how uh, well the box goes. And again, uh, it goes uh, extremely smooth no matter what uh, type of video you may want to watch. I'm in the YouTube uh, app right now. I'm going to start playing one of my own videos. Uh, the maximum resolution of this one is uh, 1080p at 60 frames per second. So I just want to see what the maximum uh, resolution it's gonna be right here. So we can just watch stuff at uh, 1080p and it goes uh, very smooth as uh, you can see on the screen right now. I have Chrome open at the moment. Um, I just want to open a website and uh, scroll up and down so you can have an idea how, uh, how well this is done. So I'm going to open a random article as soon as the page loads. So let's open this one uh, right here. And again, it's going to take a second or so uh, to load, but this uh, has a lot to do with your internet connection. And as I said earlier, my internet connection is not uh, the fastest. After the page loads, uh, I can go up and down uh, quite fast. I'm using the mouse uh, at the moment. So Chrome works uh, really well on uh, this TV box as well. In order to conclude this video, you can get this exact uh, same hardware as uh, what you find in this box for probably 50, 60 bucks uh, cheaper. Uh, they're calling this the Q2, the revised Q2 version. Um, I imagine just because of the Android 5.1 uh, that's on it. The stock launcher that comes with it, which is this one that you're looking at at the moment, uh, it's pretty bad. I mean, you don't have any options. You can't change anything and it's uh, very difficult to navigate. I'm using Nova Launcher uh, because it's so much simpler and everything works so much better. So you do have quite a few options if you're going to spend uh, $150, $160 how much uh, these boxes. Uh, you can get this exact same hardware in pretty much any TV box. I'm actually using an MX3 as my day-to-day uh, -day box and it has the exact same uh, specifications but 8 gigs of uh, ROM, not uh, 16 as this box. But uh, considering you can buy this one from Amazon and you can return it uh, if it doesn't work or if you have any problems, uh, this is probably a good uh, bet. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.